talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. <laughs> hey guys, I am Angela Jean and welcome to my channel. Today we are talking about relationships, specifically the ones where you have the instant chemistry, mind blowing sex. You tend to make up, break up, make up, break up, eventually leaving you landing on your face, scratching your head like, oh my God, what the heck just happened? What was that? You know what I mean? Very important that you realize the purpose of these really, really intense relationships. Maybe it'll help you heal or at least give you guidance moving forward if you seem to be still attracting them in. All right, you guys, so let's get started. Before we get started, let's give the universe a round of applause for all the good sex that comes with these type of relationships. So thank you, universe. Thank you, universe. Okay, now let's get to it. Okay, in all seriousness, it's very important that we know the difference between these three different things. So before you come down into the physical realm, your higher self creates something called a soul contract. And these soul contracts are things that you want to learn, things that you want to experience while you are in the physical realm. There are three different contracts created, one with karmics, one with soulmates, and one with twin flames. But it is imperative that you know the difference. So I want you to pay attention in this video today. It's not gonna be very long, but it has a lot of really good information. Because if you confuse a karmic with a soulmate, you might find yourself trying to push to keep it together, to fight to keep it together. When you slap that label on it, you're like, this is a soulmate, it's meant to be. Like, how can this not work? So you need to know the difference. So karmics are tied to contracts that you've made with yourself about maybe learning self-worth, maybe learning boundaries, learning how to stand up for yourself, uh, things like that. So a karmic's purpose is actually to come into your life. That's why you have that intense chemistry, that insane pull, but they are actually supposed to devalue you. They either devalue you or you end up devaluing yourself in hopes of triggering the realization within you, ultimately leading you to have self-worth, to value yourself, to maintain boundaries. And once you make the shift and you heal the dynamic within you, you have fulfilled the contract. And the karmic contracts are not able of remaining with us as long as you continue to expand. Okay, you guys, so that's why oftentimes, like I said, you know, if you make a breakup, make a breakup, it's because you're not learning a lesson. So the contract is not fulfilled. So you, your higher self, let's say, because that contract has not been fulfilled, will keep pulling them back in. Then they'll go out pulling them back in and, and you'll realize you'll experience the same thing over and over again. And you're like, you'll even say to yourself, I know girls that you guys do this. How did I not, how did I let that happen again? I can't believe that just happened again. You know, I know a lot of you guys have said that because I've said it, <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's because you have not fulfilled that contract. You have not triggered the lessons that you came down here to learn to release the contract. So until you heal it within you, that contract will remain. And you may lose this karmic, but if you don't heal it, you'll attract another karmic. So I can actually think of my time gaps. I had one karmic in my, third, karmic in my 30s, and then I had two just back to back. And then I was like, okay, I have to figure out why I'm attracting the same guy. And I hear a lot of women say that. So this is why you are attracting the same guy. There is some type of soul contract that has not been fulfilled, but the minute it is fulfilled, you guys, it cannot remain in your realm. It's because when you choose to heal that dynamic that attracted you to that person, the two broken pieces that came together at the time that fit together perfectly, no longer fit. And there is nothing for the other person to energetically latch onto. And that's why these karmics are usually released. However, you can fight to keep them in your life. I have been guilty of that thinking it's a soulmate. The problem with fighting to keep a karmic in your life is that they will keep you stuck. They will keep you stuck in the wound that they were brought in to heal because they will keep bringing it back to life. It takes a while to heal the wound. So you actually need to release these karmics so that you have the time to see the lesson, heal the wound and move on. But if you keep them in your life, you keep the, it's like ripping the bandaid off, ripping the bandaid off, ripping the bandaid off when you're trying to heal the wound that you see. Okay, you guys, so that's why you have to release the karmic. Soulmates and twin flames are different. These are authentic relationships built on authenticity. So they're very, very, very different. And soulmates and twin flames have the ability to stay with us throughout a lifetime. Karmics do not. They naturally just fade out. And that's another thing that can give you peace of mind if you have this relationship where it's like insane chemistry, insane sex, and then you see them dating somebody else. 
All you have to know is that they have now moved on to a new soul contract and the two of them have something to teach each other. So you can't make it about you. It has nothing to do with you. So this should give you peace of mind. The soul has moved on to fulfill another contract and you will be fulfilling another one of yours, hopefully, if you've learned your karmic lesson with a soulmate and people with more authenticity, these karmics also trigger spiritual awakenings because as you start to peel back the layers, you start to expand outside of things that are no longer serving you. You start realizing how many relationships in your life are karmic. And this doesn't mean just lovers. This is friendships. This is family. This is jobs. You realize how much of your surrounding is karmic. And you really start to spend a lot of time alone. And that's why spirituality can be so lonely because as you're shedding these layers and becoming uh, aware of the relationships that are no longer serving you, you really do start to isolate. But that isolation gives you time to work on yourself, to raise your vibration, to expand. And then you will start attracting in your soul tribe. You will start attracting in authentic relationships that are intended to inspire, help you grow, you lift and rise each other together. So the karmics are very powerful for your spiritual awakening. If you can think of your first karmic, that was the first time the universe was trying to spiritually awaken you. I know mine was when I was 32 didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work at all. It takes a while sometimes to realize what these are. It takes the right karmic, the good one that really stills your heart so they can break it into a million pieces so that you are left on the ground, picking them up, just trying to figure out what the heck you're looking at them going like, Oh my God, how did this happen? What is it? You need something to really take you down in order to lift you back up. So that's just something to be aware of the next time you're in one of these relationships or if you've had one of these relationships with the mind blowing sex. I mean, enjoy the sex obviously, but don't forget to learn the lesson. The thing is, I think no matter how healed I get, I'm always gonna wanna be strangled a little bit. So <laughs> there's a difference between toxic and kinky. So the more healed you get inside, the less you will probably attract this toxic kind of love. Obviously you can have mad, passionate, mind blowing sex with your spiritual partner. There's a lot of great sex but there's definitely one sex that is used more for bonding and love and one that's more of a trauma bond control bond so it's just good to learn the difference if you seem to attract in like i said these toxic relationships all right you guys that is it for today's video hope you enjoyed it bye thank you so much for watching you guys if you have not subscribed to my channel click the circle right there and if you missed my video i posted a few days ago on how to use anger as your ally watch that video all right see you guys.